Hello, it's Diana Marchand, founder of Raw Foods Made Simple, and this is How To Thursday. So, it is fall, it is winter, whatever it is. I don't like it because I like the warm weather. That's why I'm dressed in this turtleneck. I am freezing. And what I hear about this time of year, you know when it comes, what everybody talks about is, oh, it's cold and flu season, right? The big talk is, everybody around me sick everybody around me sick people are getting cold so i'm going to catch a cold you know and it's just like way too much you know what you say has power and what you put out there can happen so i believe words create um reality and the problem is is that people over and over again talk about how they're going to get sick because it's now it's you know the fall and this and that and it's just too much so watch what you say because words are very powerful so think only healthy thoughts right now <laughs> but I know there is a lot going around and if you have young kids or if you or your spouse or something works in an environment where there's lots of people you can control what you eat and how you treat your body but often well all the time you can't control what other people do so of course there's a lot of sick people around right now because they don't know what you guys know right um, so anyways what I want to do today is I want to kind of do a quick video on how you can fight prevent whatever a cold or the flu now, of course, this doesn't guarantee 100%, but <laughs> there's so many factors, right? But you can really help it so that you don't get sick. Another thing, you know, is never say you never get sick. I've been caught by that way too many times, so <laughs> don't say that. Just talk about how you're always healthy, okay? That's a perfect thing to do. So I have a few things in front of me, so I'm really going to go over um, just a list of things that you can do that can help ward off colds, fight colds if you feel like you're getting one, something like that. So um, of course it's really important to get lots of rest, uh, to lower the stress in your life. Now a little bit of activity is good, but if you feel like you're coming down with something, don't go for a long run or don't go do a really hard workout at the gym, just let yourself have rest, but light exercise is actually really good, a yoga class, walking and getting in the fresh air is actually really good, right? So do that. Um, another excellent thing to have is every morning anyways you should have some warm water with fresh lemon juice organic lemon squeezed in it so that's an every morning but if you're not doing that start doing that and even have it through the day besides keeping you nice and warm and cozy um, it's really good for you and really high in alkaline organic lemons now also if you're noticing you have a bit of a sore throat don't run to the store and get some lozenges or some over-the-counter drug stuff for sore throats Start, this is a local organic raw honey here, Frederick's honey. Have some raw honey or whatever, good honey, with some um, lemon juice and some hot water. That's what I do. My, we used to do that as young kids. My mom always did that. Um, you can also add some ginger, fresh ginger root in there too, and just let that steep at the bottom of a glass of hot water. This is excellent remedy. The only one I use for sore throats, which if, when, whatever, I get them. Perfect, It'll, and it really helps if you got that tickle in your throat and you can't really sleep, this is what works, hot honey and uh, hot water, lemon. Okay, and probiotics, healthy gut, healthy life. Um, so make sure that you are always taking um, good probiotic, okay? I take them every single day, always do, but if you're not, start taking some probiotics, that'll really help too. And let's see what else we got here. We got avoid meat and dairy. If you're sick right now, Avoid meat and dairy. You see, those are really hard to digest, as well as dairy is very mucus forming in your body. You don't need any more mucus when you're having a cold, right? Um, and it's also really hard to digest the meat for sure. So digestion takes a lot of energy out of your body. And when your body requires energy to heal, that's why lots of rest, you really want to um, avoid those foods that are really hard to digest. Now, what about chicken soup, you may say? Well, it's not actually chicken soup that heals you or anything like that. It's a nice, warm, comfy thing to have soup when you're not feeling well, but why not have just vegetable soup? Make your own vegetable stock or buy some organic vegetable stock cubes, but really make your own soup and have a lot of really good vegetables in it, as well as when you're about to eat it, chop up a lot of fresh greens. Now you can even put kale into your soup as it's cooking, but have a, I like to do it right at the very end so my greens are actually still raw, they're just warmed and wilted. That, and it's really good, so it's not. It's a really good vegetable soup that you make yourself and it doesn't have to take long, it can be very simple. And add some fresh greens to it too, okay? So that is the soup alkaline diet, of course. 
um, disease, illness, bacteria, whatever, loves an acidic environment. I've talked to you about that before. Get higher alkaline foods this time of year for sure. And if you feel like you're coming down with something, really boost the alkaline foods in your diet. Now, this is just a juice, a carrot juice I made, a cucumber. So vegetable juices are really great throughout the day as well as they hydrate you. They also contain, of course, a lot of the you know, nutrients, the veggies, raw veggies. Um, this is green smoothie. This is just a little one here. So green smoothies every day, all the time. Now, if you say they're too cold for you, have a green smoothie with some hot water. Just get them in, even two or three times a day. If you're not feeling well, you don't really want to eat anything, tons of green smoothies, uh, juices, and some warm soup broth or something, right? And oil of oregano. I don't have any right here, but that is a great thing. Tastes terrible, but it works, really works. Oil of oregano. And of course, think healthy thoughts, because as I say before, our thoughts control our body, right? So I want you to really think healthy thoughts too. Do not fix think sick thoughts. So what do we do when we start getting sick right away? It's, oh my God, if it's horrible, all you think about all day is how terrible you feel. Turn it around. Because if you had something really special to go to, I guarantee you'd think healthy thoughts and you probably would get better a lot faster. Okay, so some things that you know I always preach about adding greens to smoothies and juices. Well, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> so um, dark, dark greens, as well as being highly alkaline, they have high in minerals and your body just needs a lot of good nutrition to keep strong, build its immune system, keep it strong, fight off everything that you may be exposed to, especially at this, right? I don't want to say it, but you know, this time of year, yeah, you really need some extra um, strength in your body immune system. So this side just have chlorella, that's happens to be, you can use chlorella, marine phytoplankton, spirulina, anything like that. Um, you can also get here, uh, as lovely little powders that I got in little almost sample sizes and then you get to try a few different things not every store does this but this is such if you can find them then load up on these two and then you can mix different greens because all greens really have their have their own nutrients too right so they have their own specialties so it's nice to mix up your green powders and not use the same all the time wheatgrass powder something I never go without here's my wheatgrass powder really good brand of it also, camu camu at this time of year, oh my god, I have a brand new pack today. High in vitamin C, 500 times more vitamin C than orange, so camu camu, great thing all winter to include into your smoothies and it doesn't make them taste bad, it makes them actually taste good. Another thing you could try, which is high in alkaline, really helps to purify the blood, um, good for your uh, digestion and really good to help prevent colon cancer is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is very close to the hemoglobin of our blood, so it's I mean, it's just so used within our body. Chlorophyll is such a fantastic thing to add to your diet all the time. I drink it. This is a brand by Nature Sunshine, and I put it in my water and have it all day. It actually has a bit of mint. It tastes really good. So add some chlorophyll. You can also, of course, <clears throat> foods that are high in antioxidants, even the super powders, like acai berry, um, goji berries, anything like that. You can Google foods that are high in antioxidants or special super powders or anything and add those punch up your smoothies every day now and that'll help keep you healthy, strong and feeling fantastic. And of course, full of energy because you're getting so much good nutrition. That is how you can prevent and fight these colds and flus that are going around right now. So those are my suggestions for you today on How To Thursday. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and stay well, stay warm and stay positive because all those things help you, right? And get rest, right? Get some rest lower your stress levels, hibernate, read a good book, think healthy thoughts, things like that. <laughs> Anyways, I would love to hear your suggestions for How To Thursday. You can comment on my blog or below this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any suggestions for what you do to help prevent colds or fight them or help stop them when you feel one coming on, comment below. Thank you so much. And until next time, Diana from Raw Foods Made Simple.